Today we're here at Snowflake Car Wash. We're going to show everyone how to service your vacuum cleaner. It uh, kind of looks complicated. It's not really that bad. So first off, we found that we had one of our motors had a gasket that it sucked in. And I'll show you how we found that later. But uh, we're going to go up there and we're going to replace this gasket. We're going to show you how to do it. First off, we got four screws. Go around. Both of them. You have to take the screws all the way off, like this model. Some of them, you just got to loosen the screws. This particular model, you have to take all the screws out. Alright, now with all four screws taken loose, the red top comes right off. We usually throw it over here in the back of the truck and pull our parts in there while we're working, but we will clean that up before we're done. I just like things being clean. So we were cleaning these bags and we were doing the bag replacements when we found this motor had a bad gasket. The vacuum gauge how we test them. We have a vacuum gauge here. It goes all the way up to 200, but if your vacuum sucks at 80, it's a good vacuum. So 80 is what you're looking for. 60 of the customers can deal with it. 80 is preferable if you want your vacuum to suck. So now we're going to get up here and take this motor off. So by looking at the top of this, you can tell that it's been a while since the bags have been cleaned. Approximately three years. They're supposed to be changed every year. Well, I've been falling a little behind on it. Honestly, uh, it's something I hadn't done yet. And so we decided to tackle it this week. You can see here this dirt comes out into your customer's area. That's not good. On top of that, it blows up into your vacuum motors, uh, decreasing the life on those tremendously. So you want to keep your bags clean if you want your vacuums to suck. Which we love our vacuums to suck around here because that's what a vacuum does. It sucks. So, we're going to wipe this off here because that's just the way we like to do it around here. We always like to start with a clean that way we know we've been there. When we come back, if it looks semi-clean, you know you've done something. So we get that wiped down. Motors. You can see that's loose. That's not good. That's not what we're looking for. We do not get complete suction when your uh, track is loose. So, what we're going to need here is a three-quarter inch wrench, most of the time, and a nut driver to take off the nut screw. So, we'll we just take this nut loose some more, because it's already loose. Some people uh, tend to want to take this all the way off. I don't necessarily take it all the way off, unless it really has to come off. Take your nut driver, take this 516 screw down here, which locates the motor in the bracket. So that 516 screw comes on out and allows us to take the motor <coughs> loose. Set it right over here to the side. You see this gasket? See this gasket right here? You see what I'm talking about? It was pulled through, ripped. This, these things create so much suction that the vacuums, these motors, vacuum motors, will suck this gasket right on into the tank. So, let me go get a scraper and we'll scrape that off. Got your scrapers here. This 
pretty sticky stuff. Sometimes they don't want to come off. Generally, you just give them a good, that's, that's a little flimsy. You get your uh, razor blade scraper. all apart we're going to take this one loose in a minute and check that gasket even though it looked okay so looking down in here you can see the new dirt bags that we just put in we'll get you a better view of that in a minute here is the Motor gaskets, there's several different kinds. This one's a little bigger. We got, this is not the exact one that came off here, but it does fit over the hole is what you're looking for. You're looking for that it fits over that hole, not necessarily this hole, so. Kind of eyeball that thing and get it lined up. Actually, might be better. Put them on here instead. That way we can get it exactly over that hole. Not like that. So, we put them on the motor instead of the housing. Some people put it on here, try it that way. Get it nice and clean again. Slide the motor back in there. Put your set screw back in the motor. That's what holds the motor to the bracket. Quick look at it. All right, see, so that bat, that gasket is trying to suck in. It hasn't all the way sucked in. So that's what one looks like as it's going bad. Uh, since we're here, we got some extra gaskets. Got the tools, you got the stuff. Might as well just knock it both out. These vacuum motors, uh, they're sucking good, so we're not going to change the motors. Generally, we change the packing in here, which these motors are $35 each, or you can buy the packing kits, brush kits, and Get two or three runs out of your motor rather than just throwing it away. Buy these in 10 packs because you know if you have four vacuums, you're gonna to need to change them every few every few often. It's always best to turn the power off. I don't have the power off on this unit, but it's best to turn the power off while you're working on them. And, you know, if you're not comfortable, which I don't suggest most people do it without the power off, but. All right. Slide that motor back in place. 
put the uh, 5 16 set through. Back in the motor bracket, it's catching the motor. Then we're going to take the three quarter inch wrench and we are going to secure the main bracket. These things have lock nuts because they will back off with all the vacuum vibration up here. I'm not sure how that one backed off. I think maybe when that gas gets stuck through, it caused it to lose its tightness. They don't have to be super tight, just good and tight to where the bracket don't move. That there is how you change your vacuum motor gaskets. We're going to be doing another video here in a minute on how to clean your dirt bags so that you don't get all this dirt up here running through your vacuum motors. And another thing I do is I take a marker and I always try to note what I did. So we're right here, new motor gasket. With the day's date, 11 20 2019. Pointing at that one and that one, showing that we changed the motor gaskets. All right, we'll start your new video on how to clean your dirt bags next.